Hi, I'm JJ Rico, the Chief Executive Officer of the Arizona Center for Disability Law. So the ADA is the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. Uh, to me, it's a civil rights act that uh, our office enforces. Historically, the Arizona Center for Disability Law is the protection and advocacy system for Arizona. Uh, we were designated by the governor 35 years ago to be that agency. So in simple terms, that means we receive federal funding to represent people with disabilities who've been abused or neglected um, or discriminated against. And so we have nine federal programs right now, federal grants uh, that allow us to individually serve those, those folks in various levels, whether that be um, access to educational materials all the way up to class action litigation. So if someone would want to learn more about the ADA, I, I would refer them to our website, which is uh, azdisabilitylaw.org. Um, you can learn about the ADA. We have guides on employment rights, which is Title I of the ADA, uh, guides on Title II and Title III, which are the access provisions. So whether that be an access into a public uh, setting like a public library, or Title III, which would be a private building, a mall, a movie theater. If you're a person who uses a service animal, we have a guide on that. Um, so I, I would uh, encourage anybody to visit our website. I think we have guides that are uh, in plain language, uh, that are easy to access, and then all of our guides also have complaint options. So if someone's been denied, um, discriminated against, it refers them where to go and how to enforce their rights. If someone's denied access to a program or service, uh, it's crucial that they speak up. I, I think the civil rights movement of the disability uh, era is ongoing and growing out of self-advocates and the self-advocacy movement. Uh, some of our greatest cases came from individuals uh, speaking up and advocating for themselves, but as a result, they literally opened doors for other individuals. So um, it's very important, although we're celebrating 29 years post-ADA, it's still a relatively new Civil Rights Act. And so we do need people to enforce their rights in order to create good case law and, and to open more doors uh, so that those uh, after them can follow in their footsteps.